All right, and now for the most important story of the day. And I archived it, of course, because I don't trust these fuckers. How an $18 Big Mac meal became a symbol for the economic anxiety. Well, of course, thing is, there's a lot of people that are judging the economy based on the food they can buy and the fast food they can buy. So, if a meal, which is consistent of fries, about what? A third of a pound, maybe a quarter of a pound of fries, a Big Mac, and uh, what is that? An eighth of a gallon or something like that of soda. If that costs eighteen dollars, you got big problems as the incumbent, because this is an economic problem that is going to weigh very heavily on the working class, which enjoy eating fast food. And I'm part of that. <laughs> I eat too much pizza. I, I usually make them myself though. Um, so. Damn, now I want McDonald's. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, essentially, if you are um, paying uh, $3 for a cheeseburger, you got a big problem. So, McDonald's CEO says that uh, the affordability should be in focus next quarter because he was directed to by Joe Biden to increase affordability. <laughs> because he was forced to do it. So, what is the cause of this? Well, one, it is fuel prices, of course. Another one is the particular states in question, because this is Connecticut we're talking about. They forced through an additional minimum wage law. Well, increase the minimum wage, you gotta increase the price of the individual products, that's just how economy works. So, um, fast food chains, the average went up 13% between 2021 and 2022, so this was before the inflation crisis. Then, Wendy's had 35% in that particular year, and Chick-fil-A had 15.6%. Um, 2023, it was an additional 6%, and they omit 2022 for some stupid reason. Well, 2022, I think it had about a 30% increase for everyone. So, definitely the inflation thing is caused by the Democratic Party. And there's nothing really an issue. So, is this uh, a bad thing? Yes and no. Bad thing, uh, you, you're not really going for a quick snack, so you don't really save time. Good thing, cooking at home is now becoming cheaper to fast food, relatively, which is kind of good for your health, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just keep it at that. So, um, in this particular issue, you should be eating at home as lo as much as possible about heading out once a week. That's what I do. I eat out once a week and then usually I just, if I'm not feeling like making a pizza, I'll just buy one. <laughs> Or uh, I go to McDonald's because that's pretty much the only one that's good in my area regarding fast food. <laughs> that's also a problem. Quality tends to be kind of sucky around here. So, uh, before I ramble for the next hour regarding fast food, for some dumb reason, I'm just going to stick it here and <laughs> keep it here. So, um, Simply put, Democrats have caused an inflation crisis at which it's basically become very painful to go out for dinner. And, uh, well, they're definitely going to feel it in the next election cycle. Uh, like, you, like if you uh, like the video, subscribe if you want to, doesn't have to. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.